Hello and a very happy Christmas. Like the tie? It's a gift from a young uh, friend who used to come hill running with me on Christmas Day, year in, year out. Ah, memories, memories. And yes, you're absolutely right. You could accuse me of sentimental over-elaboration when it comes to my lavish decoration for the festive season. But I just think we should all make a real effort at this time of year. However, there is one effort I wish someone would resist making me the recipient of. That unwelcome Christmas Robin, and not the red rest, but the round, will soon drop through our letterbox with that male settling sound. Christmas is coming and the geese are getting fat. We'll soon get a round Robin from that ex-pat Pratt. Away in her tax haven she thinks we give a fuck as she witters on about great fortune and good luck. It's time to put a stop to this annual abomination, her unwarranted torrent of unwanted information. Just send this letter back to the eternal droning pain. Her tiny brain will process it. She will never write again. The Round Robin Rebuff, sent to Lucretia and Brutus Bohr. Dearest Lucretia, I just can't begin to thank you enough. The time you take and the trouble you go to in chronicling every minute detail of the Bohr's year is staggering. Your annual Christmas message from Monaco, the high point of our own festive season, is always eagerly anticipated and never disappoints as it unfailingly provides everyone here with the opportunity to enjoy the most monumental piss take. Yes, the Boar's Christmas message shines through the gloomy austerity of the real world like a beacon. Or should that be more like an overripe boil waiting to be lanced? And when it is popped the deluge of pustular banality and drivel it exudes is breathtaking, mind-numbing and utterly unbelievable. You seem to forget we know you. How could anyone but a person completely bereft of any sense, sensibility or intellect believe for a moment that any other human being could possibly be remotely interested in all that self-aggrandising self-serving, self-promoting, smug, condescending, patronising garbage you churn out year after year. And the photos, it just never stops. Lucretia, yes, you look fine. Obviously the benefits of Botox, fantastic fillers and enlightened surgical enhancement have served you well. Time and money no object, vanity preserved. Uh, but as for Brutus, Sadly, his position appears unredeemable. He resembles a porky, pudgy, flabby, squinty-eyed, overbaked tomato. Too much sun, too much exposure and far too much information. He really should avoid appearing in photographs altogether. He is clearly beyond liposuction. A gastric band might hurt. That said, obviously, we are all very sorry this will be your last Christmas message from Monaco. We will miss your missives, but as you have travelled so far up your own arse, Lucretia, sadly but inevitably, you have irretrievably passed the point of no return. Maybe, though, it's a better fate awaits you than being slowly suffocated by the relentless torrent of bullshit you emit remorselessly whenever you are on automatic regurgitator. Anyway, while enjoying next Christmas, we will all raise a glass to your memory as you, reminiscent of the fallen heroes of myth and legend, are condemned to eternally roam the endless, labyrinthine wastes of your colossal colon and are consigned to explore the cavernous vastness of your enormous rectum. Yes, what a piece of work you are, Lucretia. And when you have finally been consumed by and entombed within your own arsehole, Peaceful rain again, at last. But I will miss you. 
Happy Christmas. Love and best wishes to you, Brutus and the boys, but to you in particular, of course, Lucretia. As ever, Ben. If you would like to download this letter for your own use, if you feel you could put this letter to good use indeed, please feel free to go to www.absolutelyappallingpublications.com where it is available under Round Robin Rebuff. Thanks again and a very happy Christmas.